I've got this t-shirt on. This was from Timu quite some time ago. I actually bought myself one. I've just lifted it up so you can see the print on it. I paid $1.89 for mine. They were each and my friend. My friend had a smaller size. I must admit, they did come up quite big. I went for the extra large, which was a 16. Um, and it is quite loose. So it's fine um, in the house. I've even worn it outside, but probably could have done with a smaller size. And I got my friend a um, 12 to 14, which is the large. Even she said they'd come up quite big. Um, you never know from these companies anyway, and that's Timu. And that's why I'm progressing now because I've got a Timu um, haul for you. I've held off on this one because there's one order or part of my order um, delayed and I wanted to club it all together. So what I'm going to do is, I'm, like I did previously, I will tell you the prices I've paid. I've checked just before I came onto this video the price and what they are now if you're interested in the products um, because I say prices do vary and I'll do the best as I can. After the t-shirt business I thought I would actually um, try some of the clothes now. I haven't tried them on but the t-shirts have came up um, quite big anyway so I've got itchy those. So I'm going to start off with Cartoon Record um, Cartoon Raccoon PJs. I paid £3.73 for these. They're the same price at the moment. I did go for extra large, a 16. I do like my sleepwear loose. I haven't tried them on, so I don't know um, if they're going to be too big or not. Um, this is after I realised about the T-shirt. So these are the pyjamas. Um, the raccoon ones. You know me, I like my pyjamas. And that's the legs um as i said i haven't even opened some of these packages i put back them all together so that i could actually um share with this i think pajamas they can be i like them quite loose anyway so yeah this has come up quite big so this is the size 16 um, which is basically the size i've got in this t-shirt um but future um wear depending on what it is i will probably go for um, a smaller size but I didn't know especially for sleepwear I think it's always better to go for um, slightly larger if you like them looser and everything and like I said and they're the bottoms there and so they were 373 when I checked they were the same price I've gone for quite a few socks because that was one thing on my list that I needed to replace is socks and some of these might come up, I don't know, rather small on um, some ladies. I'm, I've got small feet anyway, so these fit fine. So the first um, lot I've got, it's five pairs of striped socks. I paid £1.07, and when I checked, they've just got a few pence, £1.19. Um, like I said, they might seem quite small for some people, but for me, I don't think it actually gives a size. It just says lazies. So that's them. I don't know. I mean, I've got quite small feet, but some look smaller than others in the packs because I've got a few different packs. And that's those. And like I said, I've got, they come as five pack, uh, five piece pack. And did I show you? I've got the star ones as well. Um, and more stripy ones so that comes in a pack of five and I paid one pound seven they come in these neat little bags which is ideal if you want to take them on holiday with you um, I've got another lot of five pairs of socks these are cute cat ones I paid 75 pence for them and at the moment they're 88 pence I think these are more like a trainer sock if you're into those sort of things. So that's these. So um, I think those are so cute. Again, I don't think they actually give you the size, um, but I've tried them on. They fit fine for me. Um, so I can keep some of these up for the summer and whatever. I say, oh, if you're especially cat lovers and Especially, I think for Easter, these would be nice. Even if you was to, um, if you know that these actually would fit members of your family, the females, 
Um, if you remember those um, plastic baubles you get at Christmas, I thought about this. Um, you can split the pack up, all the ladies, put a couple of chocolates in even, roll them up and put them in one of those um, plastic ball balls and makes a nice little Easter gift. Just a little thing there. So I'm just pulling them up behind me and then I'll sort it. Now this is, um, I've got a deal on this. This is the heart t-shirt. I actually went for the large, which is a 12 to 14, rather than the extra large. And I paid £1.68. I think I got a discount on this item, if I remember rightly. It doesn't always say, I'm um, going back now, whether I got, I think I did get some money off. When I checked um, just before this video, it was £5.37. So there we are. As I said, I wanted to try some of the clothing out. And this feels really soft. Again, I haven't tried it on as yet. Um, and there it is. And the best thing is, I mean, I paid 189 for this. And it is like the t-shirt material, but it's got the long sleeve. It's this lovely pink with the heart on. So, yeah. And that actually looks quite big as it is. And I'm, I'm sure that's going to fit lovely. I want to compare the sizing actually from large to extra large. Sometimes I might do this, as I said, just don't want my bra strap showing. But yeah, I could have done with a, um, as I say, a smaller size, but I've worn it quite a few times and I've washed it a number of times. It hasn't shrunk actually, so and it's really comfortable. So I only paid £1.68. I'll try and let you know. Um, after a little while when I've worn these things to actually give you a more of an update on the sizing. Do comment if you have actually bought clothing from Timu and how you found the sizing. The next one is a Christmas t-shirt. This is a medium size 10. This is for a friend of mine. Yes, the one that I bought all the little um, book Christmas decorations for. I paid 189 for it and it came up just before this video, £7.97. So it's this one. So, um, and then this is a size medium, this is a size 10. So I'm sure she's going to like this. This one was actually quite creased. So there we are. So do excuse the crinkle, as my pink one was fine. Sometimes I think it depends on the material. So it's got these um, sort of trees on, merry and bright. So I'm doing a little, getting little bits in while I can and trying to spread, um, spread the cost um, each month for um, sort of different occasions. So that's that one. So that's the Christmas t-shirt and that's a size 10. Right, I got a makeup organiser. I paid £1.07. This hasn't gone up that much. It's £1.27. This did come in um, a box. I think this is really nice. It is listed as a makeup organiser. I keep buying these um, organisers because they do for family and friends as well if I don't want to use them or need them but it could also be for a desk especially as my desk is white so it came packaged really well in that box which is a relief so it got a polythene there and this is it. So I paid £1.07. I thought that is really excellent. With it being the plastic, it's quite tough plastic. I've had a number of these different containers and I've been really pleased with the quality and how strong they are. But this sort of thing is really nice because you can wash it up, if you know what I mean. And it's come with two drawers. So they're both the same by the looks of it. Two little poly drawers. You've got a little tray there to put um, a notebook or note it's on and then it's got all your different let me hold that so you don't slip out then you've got all your compartments that could be used for a majority of things also I presume it could even be um, in your bathroom I haven't got enough um, space you can put small products in there and um, in these they might be the size I don't know like I have a lot of those packets that have face masks and things like that but it can be an organiser for most things, your craft, your craft things and everything, which is one reason why I tend to buy these sort of things. And that was £1.07. So I think that is brilliant. 
So there's that. So the next one, um, I'm going to leave that one until last because it's a bit longer. And that belongs down there for a minute. So the next one is 12 sheets of retro bohemian papers. Yeah, I did say I wasn't going to buy any more. Um, I keep saying that. I paid 96p for this set. I've checked and it's £1.68 at the moment. So there's the design. Um, so it's got a lot of these things. And what I like about these, it's got things that you can actually cut out um, and make tags and cards, anything like that. And it's got all the different papers like that. I'm just going to quickly go through because I know a lot, a lot of people might not be interested in the crafting. So like I said, I paid 96p. But that's £1.68 at the moment. Um, I've got another set of... Yes, you gave, guessed it, socks. Five pairs. These are funny face socks. I paid 84 pence for these, and these were £1.26. Um, these, again, probably look quite small. I don't know if they look small to you or not. Like I said, they're fine for me, and they've got all the different little sort of faces on them. So I'll quickly show you. But I think these are really, really sweet great for the sun i think maybe it's wasteful but i'm thinking even if you just had um a couple of packs of these for your holiday um you don't mind if they get ruined or you don't bring them back it's as simple as that so the last thing this is what boosted this sort of um order up this particular one this was actually £7.81. It's the Easter tiered um, tray set. Now, when I was looking on Amazon, um, I was looking at anything between 9 10 15 18 pounds for some of these sets. And I wanted the Easter set. So it comes like this. So I'm going to quickly show you because you know me, I do like my Easter tray decor. For Christmas, I did do my own in autumn but I have bought them. Now, some of the bits you make up, so I'm just gonna quickly go through this. So we've got this one, Welcome to Cottontail Farms. And then you've got the carrot. Got like the little wooden um, ladder. And of course, yes, you guessed it. What? This is another reason why I went for this. Look, because it's got a lot of, looking behind, got a lot of the ginnum. Get it. This one has got um, Cottontail Farms, Egg Hunt, um, Egg Dying, Carrots and Bunny. And so a lot of them have got these on. So it all will go with my um, decor. I thought this was reasonable because I felt that I would have paid more to try and make a lot of these things. Follow the bunny. He has chocolate. Hot. Carrot patch, always sweet, fresh, crunchy, open daily. And then we've got this one, the little wagon. Might include them all on my trays. Bunny tail. And one of them has actually got the stand to put it on. Which one would it have been? I don't know if I can ascertain which one this one would have been. Um, bum, bum. Yeah, it would have been this one by the looks of it because, yeah, it's got a little stand, that one. And then it comes with this twine. And then I've got a one, two, three, four, five carrots and then three rabbits and when i check the price on that one that's gone up a shade that's eight pound 27 now but i thought that was excellent um for all that and i think it was 14 pieces or something in that set so i was really happy about that so i'm going to just move this along and i'll get the next lot so i can share the next part of this order I know some things are going to be missing or I've started using items, especially when I've waited um, for a particular order, which I will include. And that's one reason why I held off so long to get this done. Um, but I'll explain a little bit more about that one 
um, it just about came at the last moment but I'll go back to that in a minute so first of all you know me and then um, I got this this is a table runner this might have been a little bit more pricey this was three pounds seven but I thought you know turning down um, my decor and everything and these sort of things I think it's a good way of putting a statement piece on your dining room table or sideboard or anything like that even if you don't want to do a lot of decoration plus you know once it's um used and everything fold it back up i keep these in my airing cupboard anyway these sort of things do not go up in the loft um that don't take much to store so yeah i'm not going to take it out because i don't want to but it has got the sort of my coloring for my um home at the moment because this was reasonable uh, by the way that look that one that i couldn't see um that particular style but they've got other styles and they're basically the same price at the moment one thing i will say and this includes this next all item i try and get things when it's not possibly that season either it's been and gone which things can still be reduced or it's way off so this next one this is the christmas festive runner I paid £1.19. It has gone up to £1.79, but again, it's got the gingham, the black and white gingham up there, and I think this is going to look really nice at Christmas on my dining room table. And I paid £1.19 for that, so I thought that was really good for dining rooms, um, for tables, sideboards, console tables, whatever. I think they're a really good price right i got a couple of quotes um i like buying these because i like changing things out in my frame so i'm going to start with the first one which is this one i actually paid um 48 pence for this so i think that's really good for a bit of artwork it, at the moment it's one pound 38 today i will stay positive laugh more say kind words learn and grow choose love worry less believe in myself and when i read this i thought yeah i thought especially sometimes you know i'm not going to go into too much detail because obviously this is a haul but sometimes you know you just need that little bit of a push or to read things like this and i tend to have these things in frames around our home um just to give you that you know sort of nudge or to read it and just um sort of go over things um especially worry less and believe in myself which is the bottom one yeah so yeah very hard to laugh more at the moment still early days but there you go and i paid 48p and i have the same frames i have different size frames i get a lot from the charity shop a pound land whatever and i just changed my decor and i think that's an easy way quick and easy way and quite um less expensive to change your work artwork and for the different seasons so 48p i thought that wasn't too bad i'll probably pay more in ink really the next one i paid this is a motivation quote again i paid one pound 18 it's gone up a shade it's one pound this is also one pound 38 at the moment so it says anxiety coping statements again this is another one um sometimes i don't always put them in um frames but most of the time i do and i swap them out especially if i'm sitting at my desk in my little craft office nook my cubby so it says anxiety coping statements i am safe and i will be okay not all thoughts are facts i'm trying not to get emotional people might think hang on a minute you know why am i getting emotional this is definitely me i have survived this before my anxiety doesn't define me i choose i chose to slow down and breathe i can cope i am brave i am stronger than i believe i will focus on the present i do find that one very hard 
my feelings are allowed to be here yeah to be here so that's that one and that one i paid a little bit more for as i said one pound 25 but again you know they fit um, my frames really well some items are not here because i gave them to people um some i'm going to sort of share um i think a couple of people might have already or will be watching these videos and they'll probably know who they are um with certain items now this bunny gnome is going out in the post i paid 125 for it and it's one pound 38 at the moment I think it's so cute i'm trying not to keep hold of this in that sweet i love these these gaunt i call it a gaunt they call it a gnome and i think that's really sweet and that's the easter one they do them in different colors but there's that one this is something else why i've had to get ahead eat for easter i'm always apologizing to um subscribers and everything because i don't get my stuff out early enough so that one was 125 this is something i bought myself one and i bought um a friend one i've got a d for me and an a and i think this person knows because i keep saying i will get this package off to them so i've got the two charms so i'm going to open i think mine so let me get this open if i can they open very well that bit i like these sort of things when i buy makeup bags or little purses or something i like these sort of things um and it's just this beautiful um sort of pale pink with the gold mine's got a d on and then it's got the little hook there and i don't want to go into too much detail because this person might be watching and I do apologise. I apologise about umpteen times to her. And as for Kaz, as well as another person that I have got something that I keep adding to, I will get there eventually. But these sort of little things I think are adorable just to add on to these items. And I don't want to go into any more detail because I don't want to spoil the surprise. So I've got that in a D and an A. Um, they were 50 pence each they're at the moment that 88 pence but still i think that's a good price these seem to have gone up a lot i paid 40p for them um they're musical like paper clips they're one pound 68 at the moment and it's these i bought these sort of things because i like adding things to those um little junk books i um sort of um make these will be um great for a music teacher someone who's into music or anything can you imagine um like a some um papers you know the um what do you call them notes you know the music books and things like that and then putting some of these paper clips i also i don't know if that's gonna do it that way i've got them in different colors and um i just love adding this i've even added these sort of things onto um cards so like i said i only paid 40p for these and um they're one pound 68 at the moment i don't know how many's in there i don't think it says on the packaging so that's those and they come in different colors let's move those over and i think I've got two items left in this one. One of them I've already had um, on my kitchen um, coffee bar and I've shared that one. I'll probably do that one now. And it's this. It's the little coffee truck in the cream. Again, my coat. I've put a little bit of tissue in there. It doesn't stand up very well. Maybe I'll put too much in that just so it stands up. So that's got um, coffee beans on it. And then the little truck. These sort of things um, cost a lot of money, especially when I used to look at them um, in Amazon and come from America. In fact, they used to double the price because of the postage. So this one, and the doors do open, do they? Yeah, the doors do open. I'm not really sh sure whether my finger's going to go in. The doors do open. I'm not going to force it. And I paid, I got a percentage off of this. I paid £6.43, which probably could be um, quite expensive. But this was die cast. It was a, I think it was a leading make anyway. At the moment, it's £8.73. When I first looked at this, it was like um, £12. And I thought, I knew the sizing of it because I get me tape measure on my ruler out to have a look 
and just see how big the item's going to be. Um, I wouldn't pay £12 for it, but when I got, I think it was a percentage off, I thought, well, £6.43, yeah, okay, I will just manage that. But that's going to go back on my coffee bar. I think I've already actually shared that in one of my, um, I think it was my kitchen, when I started doing my kitchen organisation. Now, this one was 63 pence and it's 71p. And yeah, I go through all the seasons here. This is Halloween and it's, it's my initial D. It's got the black um, gold cord there and it's this. I just thought that was so sweet. Um, anything like that. And again, it could be something that can go on my tear tray or whatever. Instead of putting the gold cord on it i can put some um of the um black and white gingham in there and just have that propped up somewhere with the d yeah i've got these things when i see them because unless i'm totally off topic here or the point they don't have like you know a lot of um stores you shop online and even in amazon you have a um a safe later and i've brought this up a number of times i haven't noticed that timmy do it because i think pricing changes so much um so i get certain items when i see them when i think they're really reasonable and likely to go up in price or whatever or if it's something i really really want for myself or somebody else i'll purchase it um but i've known how prices fluctuate so i bought this so when i'm on just putting item 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 into my um, basket then I will go through it maybe twice three times to decide now do I really want this does this person really want this and then I will delete what I don't need especially if I've gone over a certain amount because sometimes I can go on there and it's like over 100 pounds and I'm not going to spend that but then I will nickel it down especially if I've put um, a number of items like um, for instance these weren't expensive, but if you get them in tin or something like that, canvas, they can be a li little bit more pricey and everything. Um, when I've got about six or seven of them, I then I decide which ones I want to get. But those two were got to be a purchase. But I'm sure you can understand what I'm saying. So there's no way what I can see that you can save those items for later or have something similar it would help me anyway because then i can put some seasonal things aside that i don't particularly want now like halloween and christmas but there you go so i have got another part of this order down on the floor here so i'm going to sort that out and then i can include it on this video right i'm going to explain something about this um very often you know if my budget allows I sort of, um, not so much in January because it was supposed to be a no spend month, but especially now in February, I tend to order once a week or something. I said, I need to double check, and I said this before, originally, as long as it was over £10, it was free delivery. Um, a couple of my orders, I don't know about the last one, actually, I might have to check, it said £15, so I might not do as frequently or whatever. And to tell you the truth, I've had stuff now in my basket, um, quite a big order actually, of um, stuff. And it's been in there for about two weeks. But I haven't put that order through because I was waiting on two orders. This one I put through on the 2nd of February. Um, it, I was told it was on the flight, on a plane, gave me time. And then I was told it was still at the airport. It didn't go on the flight and it remained at the airport five days. Um, so this is not in this country. And I received this order um, last thing last night, sort of late afternoon, early evening. So we're counting in that if that was on its last day, which would have been the 16th. Um, it finally came because if it came after the 16th, meaning today, it would mean they would have to credit me £5. So I ordered this on the 2nd of February and it came yesterday. 
I'm not knocking it or anything, but I'm, I'm just going to prove a point. The other part of my order, well, it's a separate order, and I'll do that after I've done this one. I ordered that on the 9th of February, and it came this morning. Only half day, basically, if you count the night, half day longer than the one I put previously through on the 2nd. And I put this other one through on the 9th, and it came half a day later. So there must have been some problem at the airport. The, I think the message I got um, during that time was something about, um, how did they word it? Something to do with um, going on the flight. Their end of having um, orders delivered by flight. I'm sure there was a technical term they used it. Their supplier. The people or the organisation they use for flying their packages out was under negotiation. That was the um, comment I finally got after it being stuck at the airport for five days. So there was some negotiation and I think that's what the hold up was. That's the longest I ever got. So I'm going to go straight into this one. This is going to be a really long video and I do apologise, but there you go. Now, you know me and these there are, say, Christmas decorations. Um, I got some very similar. This is the dragon. I'm not sure <laughs> if I've already got this one or not, but it doesn't matter. I love these dragons. I really do. And it comes with the bell and the gold cord. And I think that is so cute. I think these are so sweet. I love them to bits. I paid 47p for this and they, it came up now as £1.88. Um, do If you like these sort of things, especially these sort of Christmas decorations, do keep that in mind if you want to order some of these. Keep an eye on the price because they fluctuate up and down all the time. So when it was 47p, I ordered it. And when I've just checked, just before I came filming on this, it was £1.88. And I do love these. These are the sort of things I was actually sending through the post with Christmas cards to family and friends. Um, some of them anyway, because they didn't take a lot of packaging as well. I kept my packaging costs down. I meant to have took this one out. This is flowers. £1.28. I paid £1.48 at the moment. They've got me different colours. And I must admit, I've got so anxious to try and get this video um, done because my son's in the bar. I think he's waiting to get out for when I'm finished filming. Sorry for the rustle. So I can get these out. Um, I've had these sort of things before and they're not been a problem. I'm just going to fluff them out. So I'm going to try and get them out. I do love them. And eventually, if I get them reasonable, I want them to get them in different colours. So this is it. £1.28. I think these are so sweet. I'm just fluff them out a little bit. And have that in a, a little vase. I think that is absolutely gorgeous. And these are in different colours. So I, I really do like these. So that's those. So £1.28 for those. Right, um, next one, Easter. I've only had a problem with one item. If you remember, it was a, one of those flat little Christmas decorations and the writing was on back to front. But I wouldn't bother because I'd saved so much money. I mean, people might have said complain, but I didn't. This is the only other thing that I haven't been entirely um, happy with, especially as I was waiting so long for this package. It was 89p, but at the moment it's £1.7. And because they tend to run them into smaller packages, because obviously different size packages, they, they try and keep them to a certain um, sort of size, then they split the orders, because that's happened to one of my larger ones. Um, but... This is the state it comes. It's a transfer, basically, for your mirrors, for your glass. I don't know if you can see that. That's how it was literally folded over and everything was piled on it so it's squished. Now, um, I'm not getting upset about it and I'm not going to complain about it. But can you see this? I'm going to put a tea towel over it and try and do it on an iron, a low, 
no, sort of low temperature iron to see if I can flatten it out. I did say to my son, because I tried to do the side bit, which I didn't want to take completely off. And I think because it's sticky, it might be okay. Um, but I don't want to take it fully off at the moment. But like the creases in the middle, but I'm sure you can tell the state's coming as this sort of thing, all those canvases, even those A4 bits, these were not, this was in a different package. Okay, it's slightly smaller, cardboard and everything. These weren't creased. And I think it's because of the size of the package. They squished it, everything into such a small package. So it's creased it all up. Now if they I put it, because I've had um, canvas arts that have come on um, like a sponge um, sort of um, round thing where it's wrapped around it and they've come in tubes. I've never had any problems with art or anything, but you can tell the state of this. Look at that. I'm hoping, I can't do it on a really hot iron because I don't want it melting and sticking. Plus, I won't be able to get it off the back end. But if anybody's got any ideas or have had this situation from Timu or anybody else, um, what can I do? I mean, yeah, you can flatten it down with books, but I'm going to try, as I said, it might be okay. Um, I haven't tried one of the worst parts where the ear is because I don't want to rip it. Um, but I've pulled the ear out. I don't know how this is going to come out, but that is definitely got um, a crease in it. I don't know if you can see that just there. So, yeah. I paid again, what did I pay for it? Did I say um, 89p for it? Um, I'm gonna see how it goes and see if I can salvage that. But I don't know, I suppose a lot of people do actually bother sometimes. Um, is it more of a palaver? I, I was wondering about asking for a refund because it's um, so squished and everything. I mean, I've not asked for a refund or anything for 89 bit. If it was something more expensive, I would do. But the only thing is, um, I don't know about returning items for a refund, if you have to return them, because is it going to be too much of a plover to do it? I don't know. Give me your views if you've been in that situation. Like I said, if it was something that I'd pay 10, 12, 14 pound for, yes, I'd definitely ask for a refund. I'm not 100% sure that it's actually worth it. Right, this one has also been up and down in price. I love it. And I'm going to um, order a couple of them for different people that know have got air fryers. And it's this. Um, this went up to nearly two pounds before Christmas. I we've had our air fryer quite some time when they first released. I want to get the Ninja, but the the Duo one. So I want to get a larger one that's got the two compartments. It has got the thing to put on there, stick it on there to make it metallic, and it's this. And I paid 68p for it. It's now £1.28, which isn't too bad. So you've got air fryer cooking um, guide. And then you've got it all split up with um, times and everything. So you've got bakery, desserts and snacks. You've got um, poultry and seafood. You've got lamb, pork and beef. And you've got vegetables and frozen section. So I think this is a really good thing and make a lovely gift. Again, I like these sort of things with the metallic thing in the packet because I can send these things through the post with a, a card or a letter or a note to people that I know that I believe would like something like this. So like I said, 68p. So I'm going to keep an eye out and Keep an eye on the price and I might actually get my mother-in-law one of those. Right, the next thing is the night dress. This is for my granddaughter. And I think this is, I only ordered one set. I've had um, quite a lot of offers, reduced them down to £2.99 and a dress set and all sets. But I didn't want to purchase another one until I've actually seen how this fits her due to the fact that the sweatshirt fitted her spot on, which she hasn't had yet, but I've bought three stuff. So this one was, um, the nightdress was £5.54, 
same price at the moment. So this is the one I've got. It's got what a tissue. So it's one of these tie-dyed ones. I think it's really cute. Easter's coming up now, so whether I might give it to her because, like I say, I put pocket money aside for her. So that's the night dress. I did get the I think it was the I can't I didn't actually write down the size on this. I think it was this the seven to eight years. I I'd like to say was it seven to eight or did I get the larger size? I'm not sure. Um, I think it's the seven to eight because she's only six, but she's quite tall. So that's that. And this was five pound forty nine. But why I bought it for her? Look at this. For her doll. I'm hoping this is going to fit one of her dolls. It probably actually would, to get it on and off, I think this would fit, maybe it's a bit wider, her Barbie doll or some one of her smaller dolls. And it comes set. And they do so many of these sets. But again, I wanted to see how the nightdress fit. And also, you know, if this actually fits one of her dolls. Or it might go on, I've got small teddy bears and things. Maybe I can sort her a little teddy bear that I've got. Or even, do you remember those rabbits? I bet I've got no end of them. I'm, I'm sure I've still got a couple left. The rabbits that you get from Poundland at Easter time. I'm sure you know the ones I want. Whether that would fit it, I don't know. Depends on bunny tail or something. But that's it. Before I buy any more, I wanted to see how this fit the doll and how the nightdress actually fit her herself so that's that so i didn't think that was too bad so that's sort of one week's pocket money um right the next one is the watch set i paid one pound 67 for this at the moment it's four pound 48 um i'm going to split this this little package up between myself and my granddaughter um some things i probably wouldn't um wear but I mostly went for the watch and the earrings. And I haven't, I said I, I wasn't going to actually buy any more earrings. But anyway, this is the watch. I think it's absolutely beautiful. There we are. And it's, I do, maybe I'm, I do like it when it's got the numbers on. And it's like a, a fake leather, sort of, uh, what do you call it? Blush pink, is it? Um, sort of stuff. I thought this would be nice for the spring and everything it's been absolutely since before lockdown i used to always wear a watch since lockdown i don't tend to use a watch and i just tend to use clocks in the house on my phone but there you go that's the watch it with the watch it comes with other little pieces as well and i'll quickly show show you these um some of these items i might just keep up for when my granddaughter visits so the next one is this bd um sort of bracelet it does actually fit on my hand it's got the wrist it's got the little butterfly and everything but basically i think that one i would save um for my granddaughter it also comes with the ring which is the bd one i so say these are not the things that i would necessarily um wear but they're kind of cute Again, I think I saved that one for my granddaughter. She loves little purses and her little bags and things. And I put these sort of things in. Um, the other item that I wanted, because I know Anne's into butterflies and I am as well, is these little earrings. I don't know if you can see those little butterfly earrings with the pearl there for me so the watch and the earrings for me and the other three items probably from granddaughter this is probably okay but i think i'm going to save this from granddaughter again and it's the necklace again and it's got the um but the pink butterfly on there so i didn't think that was too bad so you've got the necklace especially for um i don't know if the watch will be a bit big for some girls i don't know so you've got the um bracelet you've got the ring the earrings and the watch and i paid one pound 67 for those um i have in the past especially when i haven't worn a watch for ages actually done washing up and forgot to take my watch off i haven't done that for a long time because i haven't worn a watch but i'm just saying about that so i'm just going to put those there so i don't lose them 
and that's gone up to £4.48. Um, They've had a lot of different sets, but as I said, there was the two items that I really like that I want to keep. The rest I will pass on. The next thing, yeah, I keep buying these things for my granddaughter and everything, but there you go. Um, I like to put things in if I do a snacks and everything, you know, not like a, uh, maybe like a Happy Meal or something, do you know what I mean? But more cold snacks, sandwiches or something like that, crackers, you know, um, the little boxes of raisins, I'm going off topic here. But this one was a 10 piece um, gift ring set. I paid £1.09 and at the moment they're charging £1.49 these plastic rings and even I, I haven't done Christmas crackers for so long and I like to do little um, boxes that I use on the scissors machine then I bought this up a number of times and this is so many different little rings oops I wonder if I can get one on my little finger I can't quite I then I could get it on but I might not get it off so they've they've got so many Sorry, so many different um, things. Got ice cream on there. Um, we got a pink dinosaur. Um, what we got? Got that one. Is that supposed to be a zebra or zebra? Um, we've got a. Is that supposed to be a little cat? And things like this would be ideal um, for little treats. Um, for a girl's um, party, a little tea party or something, or birthday party for little girls. Um, put a couple of those in with some sweets and everything, and maybe some little crayons and little tiny, you can get the miniature little notebooks. That would make an ideal gift. Or even Easter. You know, you can get those little plastic eggs and things, you know, for... Um, Easter egg hunts and everything. This is another ring set. I paid, look, what did I pay for this one? 48 pence and at the moment it's 67 pence. The same sort of thing as those. And these are in so many different colours. And I'm going to put my favourite colour one on, I think, just to show you. So that's those. I don't know if you can see that. It's a little bare. It's probably the wrong colour to actually um, share because you can't see it very well. These also will be really good for um, a girl's party. There we are. It's like a jelly type thing. It's thick plastic, little bare. And this comes in like six pieces in different colours. Now, I haven't really researched anything for little boys, unfortunately, because we haven't got any little boys in our um, family to sort of show you the other end of the scale. So that's those. So I thought 48 pence. Again, these things will be great in little Easter eggs, you know, um, maybe instead of chocolates or something. The last thing I've got, if you remember, I brought a fox um, previously. And I paid, um, I got it really um, reasonable. I think I got a percentage off of it. This one, I think I got a percentage off of as well. I paid 2 99 for it. And it's any time the same thing, two different prices actually. 3 99 I found it and also £5.39. This is more Halloween now, again. And it's this. <laughs> it's so cute with his tail and everything. So, yeah, it's like a, a bat, a plush bat, which I didn't think is really um, bad, actually. I think it's so cute. <laughs> I say this all the time. I'm going to try not keep it. it. I did actually order it for my granddaughter for her Halloween bucket. Yeah, I know. We've only just got into this year, but I have boxes in my wardrobe for gifts. I put all the Easter stuff together. I've already got her, I've said this before, um, on the, on um, clearance, um, one of those white sort of um, material bins. It's, uh, I think it was a unicorn. So everything I got for her, I just dump them in there at the moment. So everything's together and I've sort of got a box for Halloween stuff as well. So I think that's kind of cute. Try and not keep it myself. Now I'm going to share the last part. I said that part of the order came um, yesterday. 
on the last day it was supposed to come and like I said it was held up at the airport for five days this next part didn't get ordered until the ninth, and it came this morning so I'm going to just share the last part and I do apologize for the length of time this has taken but you can always pause it can't you and come back at it at a later time okay now for the last part of this order hopefully you haven't fallen asleep but I like watching these um hauls plus you get an idea of what you're getting. As I said, um, except for that um, transfer, everything's been fine with these orders. But saying that I haven't placed an order now um, for over a week, two weeks possibly now, um, due to the fact one of my orders, second to last like, um, hadn't arrived and was still stuck at the airport, so I refused to. And they've been sending me notifications or oh, you can have this um this item for 90 percent off 70 percent off sorry for the delay in your order but i refused to put another one through due to i was waiting on two orders and in fact they come half a day between like i said right now let's start with this one i understand this is anime i think you pronounce it now where did i put that one item that i was gonna share with you first of all it's here on top it's not usually my thing but i just love this one and uh, it's my sort of colors as well and it is i think it's absolutely gorgeous there we are I love anything like this. I don't normally buy anything like this, but I just like this one. And it share, showed you, obviously, sitting on something. This is one of the items I'm going to show you. So it's sort of sitting on like that. So, yeah. I paid £1.17 for this. When I was looking at these, they were quite expensive. And for something that I was likely not to have to um, purchase, I thought, you know... I wasn't sure um, whether I wanted to pay that sort of price. But in the end, I bought this one. And like I said, it was £1.17. I just went on just before I'd done this last segment and I want £3.98 for it. So it's all right if you're into this sort of thing. But I thought that was really kind of cute. I do like nice little things around... Um, that don't take a lot of room necessarily but i know that they're there and i can see them maybe straight not maybe not in my kitchen but just places where i sit or i'm working or whatever just to look at so like i said one pound 17 but it is now three pound 98 so that's that one i've got the bunny runner yeah i've got another runner i got the black one i didn't know this one might be a gift. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to keep it. So this is the one. This is more beige. Again, it would go with my um, sort of decor. I don't know whether to have it running along that unit there or not. Um, the black one I'll probably have on my dining room table that I showed you previously. Um, but this is really nice. Uh, and this one I paid £1.28 for. I've just been on and it's £4.98 now. This is what happens when you're getting close to that particular season. So I thought I got a good deal there. Um, I bought some more earrings. <laughs> I got rid of a lot and I'll just change them up. So I don't like paying a lot for earrings, especially when we're away or anything, because I keep putting them down and losing them. Right, I paid 18p for these and they're still 18p. So that's those. So it's like a little um, silver sort of knotted thing with a pearl. So they were 18p. Again, something great for a Easter egg hunt. You could even put maybe, um, I don't know, a G for girl on the egg or um, say ladies put L or F for female, male, M, so that if you're, depending on the ages of the kids or and you're playing with adults, which we normally do all across the board, it doesn't matter what age, and do an Easter egg hunt, you could put little stickers on or something or let them find the eggs and then just do a swap a rope at the end. It's up to you. Just an idea out there. So again, there's some items that I'm not sharing because they are gifts. Um, the next one is the cute pen pot. I've just put it down as a cute 
pen pot. This was £1.54. It's the same price at the moment, which I think it's this one. Again, I do prefer it when it comes in the boxes because it's, it's easier if I want to send them through the post. And it's this one. I keep buying these and I think that is so sweet. So you've got, the, I haven't taken it out of the pub thing because I think this one may be a gift. You've got the two sort of plastic things there to store it up. And you've got your pen pot there, this little ledge. I think, and I keep saying this and I know I keep repeating myself, these things I think are amazing deal. If you want some storage for your desk, whether it's at home, a child's desk, um, a partner's desk, obviously you don't have to have pink unless the guys want pink, but they do them in different colours. Don't think in most of the range they do the black um, instead of the pink, which would be ideal for a guy. Um, but these sort of things I think would be good. And I just thrown out something you get little bits like stickers or washi tape or even some pens or i don't know or even cosmetics and instead of having a makeup bag that i've said previously have something like this but this one's um noticed as a pen pot but you could probably put a very thin body spray or something in there and things like that so just just a few um sort of background on that one this one is i've already got one um that was the same price by the way at the moment this one was 58p i kept it in the plastic again it might be going as a gift well i had actually thought i know who i want to send it to but i don't know whether they want it or not because i've got one and i use it this was 58p a plastic drawer i said before really solid plastic um, and it's the same price at the moment. Again, you can always fill that or even for Easter, um, maybe even the other pen pot with the seed, put a, um, a lot of sealed sweets in and things and little Cadbury eggs and things like that. Just an idea. You've got the gift and you've got the chocolates as well. So the next one is a dust product. Um, this was £1.08. I don't know... I say some of the packaging I haven't actually um, broken into. Um, just to try and make my life a little bit easier. So this is what it is. It's a flat um, piece here. Don't think this... Oh yeah, it does come off so you can actually clean it. And then you've got the pole here. Um, yep, yeah, look. So you can extend it. That's a really good idea. So I think it's that way. Get it right. There we are. I'm just showing you. There we are. Um, I bought this, especially if I didn't want to go right under my bed, use this. That's what they've share, shared in the um, video. So I thought this would be a good idea, you know, and even maybe on top of some of my um, bookcases and things and in between the DVDs and things like that. And I paid, like I said, I paid £1.04, did I say for this? No, £1.08. I've just been on and it's £4.18 now, but I just thought I'd um, share with that with you. Um, a repeat buy, um, I paid 84p for this. I think it's five pieces of the eucalyptus stems. They're £1.18 at the moment. I did actually open the packaging up and this is what they are i've got these in my bathroom and i love these um these sort of things um you can put them in little individual bottles even you know as many as you want so that's that the only thing i do find is that you get a lot of like chalky substance off of them but um yeah i do like them and as i said that is the second time i've purchased those um, the next thing I've got is, I don't know, I've got my D, um, again for my desk area, and it's this, it's the magnetic, um, not, better not, I think it's got chalky fingers at the moment, so it's a D, metal metallic, um, with sponge and the double-sided um, tape. This was 37p. 
and you can buy them in all the letters of the alphabet and it's all the same price and then i have got some stickers i've got stickers yeah i've got the stickers here and these were 80 pence Was it 80 pence? Yeah, I paid 80 pence for these. They are £1.34 at the moment. And it's these. And I'll just show you a couple because they are so sweet. Look at that. Beautiful. They are so sweet. I love these. There's just a few of them. So I paid 80 pence for those. So, um, I think there's one item. What have I done with it? I think there is another item before I get to this last one. Um, I'm not sure where the other item went. But never mind, I'll probably come across it. Um, is it over there? Oh, I'm dropping everything on the floor now. I don't know what I've done with it. It doesn't really matter, but yeah. It was just a pocket little um, card thing. I paid 89p for it. Is this set? Oh, it's here. Yeah, that was my just, just extendable thing on the floor now. And this I paid 89p for it. And um, at the moment it's 98 pence. It's an assist. I pronounced that right. Little heart. And it comes with this little card. I'm not sure if that was supposed to be stuck on there or not. Or it's just come off. In, um, so it's got um, the Stone of Calmness and Inner Peace. Um, soothes away stresses and helps calm, calms and purify the mind. And just go on a bit, but I haven't got my glasses on trying to read this but that's basically it so yeah that was the other thing that was the thing that i couldn't find on the table this last item i've left to last um because it might i probably will do a um you know um this I've lost my word and i've lost my train of thought i'll probably do a review on this that's what the word i was wanting review it's a diy doll's house i've seen a number of these kits and i really wanted to do one so i bought this one and this is the reason why i put this order through even though my other one was well and at that time i didn't know it was stuck at the airport but i had to get this because i don't know whether it would go in the price and to tell you the truth this actually had a very good um reviews on it so I'm going to show you the size. It's not very big. That is the base. That's how big it's going to be. And it comes in so many segments. So you've got you, it's something you build, obviously. Um, and I've seen so many of these little projects that you can have sceneries um, like coffee shop, um, sweet shop, donut shop, um, library and things like that. And they're... they're different materials and some of them you can pay the extra and have the case which probably is a good idea but look <laughs> all these little bits and then you've got all this as well to let you know how i got on a lot of people says it takes a lot longer than what they say you've got your tweezers and your ruler there and then it comes with all your papers and everything and that is what it's going to build it's this little doll's house i just wanted a kit um i'm not sure it didn't say anything about glue on this one so whether it does all clip down which i think unless the papers are double-sided um glue um sticky um, I would have thought you might need glue, I'd have to see, because a lot of these kits, if it needs glue, it will say, like, the item plus glue plus tools plus cover. So you buy the whole shebang, if you know what I mean. 
Um, I'm not sure um, if this one actually takes or whether this is all sticky. Um, I haven't really, most of it looks as though it just clips in. I um, didn't remember it saying anything about glue, but then I will have to look into that a little bit more before I think about starting. I'll have to read more about it and see if I need glue. It doesn't say about needing glue, but obviously there's a lot of pieces to this. This was £10.47 at the moment. Um, it's still the same price, but say... They, some are saying, well, it's supposed to be able to do it in a couple of hours. Some said they spent a fair few days on it. I suppose it depends on how patient you are, I'm going to think. But I want to have a go at this. And like I said, I will do a review on it um, to let you know um, how I get on and how easy it is. All, I don't know if they um, show the good reviews with the bad. But everybody, that all the ones that I've read, it's had quite a high um sort of review on this and said how people have enjoyed making it just that it takes a lot longer to do it i'm going to have a go at this one some of them go up um other sets can go up to 30 40 pound even and um, to like little mini greenhouse and everything but i thought i'd start with the little mini doll's house to start with um some are obviously i think more better quality and got more items with it this seems um as though it's got quite a lot to do if you know what i mean even if i spend a fair few days doing it in the afternoons or something but there you are so that was 10 pound 47 i'll try and remember to do a review um because i'm adamant i'm gonna do it as i've got a list now of projects i want to get done so i do apologize with the length of time this video has taken hopefully you've enjoyed it thanks for watching goodbye